welcome back to another really exciting video so in this video i'm going to teach you how to create a audio visualizer or something like this and also i'm going to teach you how to turn this audio visualizer into this kind of 3d tracking or something 3d before uh, we starting the actual tutorial you need some assets uh, basically the background images you can use pixels or pixabay for the free images so anyway i downloaded some of the images actually from the pixels uh, similar something like this so we can uh, place the audio visualizer over here or over here or here so we already downloaded this video also so on the next part we can uh, learn how to use the audio visualizer in a video also how to properly 3d track so that will come also that will that will be a part of this tutorial so let's start with the basic stuff so go to composition new composition you can just put a composition name visualizer and set up the basically the full hd uh, 1080 frame rate 30 then you can choose a duration one minute two minute according to your music so anyway this is just for tutorial so let's try with 8 second or 10 second that's fine actually then press ok so we are uh, first you have to set up the after effects projects that's all now import your image into after effects and drag and drop into project window then drag and drop into timeline uh, these are the basic step only and you can fit these images actually this this is a high resolution image you can just scale these images also this one shortcut basically the shortcut for transform uh, you can use this fit com width fit com height uh, control shift alt h or g so you can use this shortcut to fit always try to learn shortcuts that's always better for your workflow now uh, you have these uh, images now we have to create a audio visualizer so best uh, just import one music uh, i'm not going to use any copyrighted music because <laughs> it will ruin my youtube channel that's why uh, i use one N ncs music this is one of my old intro music now always create a, a composition for audio that's better because in future you can replace audio it's very easy actually then just drag and drop the audio audio the mute your music into this audio composition now back to our visualization the main composition and maybe you can create a new solid um, again you can put a name for this visualization now you have to apply the audio visualizer so go to fx generate audio spectrum and just apply the audio spectrum for this solid so it will be is nothing you can see a small dots over here now what do you have to do we have to import audio we already created audio composition here so just drag and drop your audio into this timeline and yeah, just listen to this so if you go to insert this audio and if you double press l on keyboard you can access the waveform and for now i'm just adjusting the highest pitch to understand to understand uh, the the maximum but now go to the visualizer visualizer solid and audio spectrum now first you have to choose audio layer so the audio the three this will be our audio composition now if you are playing you can a small basic audio visualization now we have to con uh, customize our visualization according to our design so 
basically you don't want uh, you can increase the start frame and you can decrease this basically we need more waveform and also you can increase the band and free maximum height i think these are fine this is basically now we don't want the below uh, symmetry then you can go to the side option then side a yeah, only then it will be only upper side now we just have to increase the frequency bands to and you can change the display option into analog dots then you'll get uh, just lines only actually for now you, if you are turning off your images you can see this line properly this is fine now you have to adjust uh, you have to make it symmetry so before that you have to adjust this beginning and ending into the below the bottom so better the starting point has to be zero then here this thing one zero eight zero then this thing one nine two zero one zero eight zero then it will be the exact end of this f exact corner of our composition if you're playing okay now the problem if you make it a cylinder shape this starting and ending will be not match then you have to make it a symmetry for this for that you just have to add one you know the motion tile then go to effects it's in stylize and motion tile just click on here motion tile now you can mirror the edges and also you can change the width into maybe 50 that's fine then now you can see the starting and ending will be the same position now if you play this you will get a nice audio wave now what you have to do uh, you can change the inside color and also you can remove this dynamic hue face then just increase the hue change make it gradient little gradient like this and yeah that's all now we need a different visualization so just duplicate this layer so you can just select this layer then press ctrl d on keyboard it will duplicate on the second visualization just decrease the maximum height increase or decrease up to you so if you're decreasing if you're increasing it will be like this also change the hue color to make it a little different gradient if i duplicate again then change the frequency height basically just decrease the frequency height and also you can change the hue we can turn on our basic uh, images the background images here into here now just select all this including this audio then right click pre-compose Control shift c is the keyboard uh, shortcut keyboard shortcut to make it pre-compose maybe visual visualizer you can put any name and yeah press ok then the visualizer will be a composition you can move and adjust everything here and if you go inside this visualizer 
you can adjust the values and everything inside the visualizer the all the detail over here now back to our main comb i think it's better to change this comb name control k then main select your visualizer composition and go to fx and perspective here you can see a cc cylinder basically you can turn your image into a cc cylinder now oh, here you can see a radius uh, so if i reduce the radius and position just draw drop down the position you will get x y z axis now just make it upside then rotation the same okay so basically this cc cylinder it will make your f straighten od visualizer into a cylinder form uh, and all the animation will be there See, that's all you have to do now you have to adjust your perspective according to your image basically that's very simple go to uh, this position rotation radius you have to adjust all these things so i'm just adjusting uh, this thing maybe this will be a faster preview but yeah based on your images just adjust all this stuff now just increase this radius uh, select your visualize uh, composition and fx and stylize add glow so basically you can uh, increase this glow value and you can duplicate the same visualizer then change the blending mode into add to make it more pop up this is the one technique but i'm going to use another technique actually uh, instead of using the default glow there is one plugin called deep glow deep glow uh, it's for after effects and they will give a very a nice glow for your object so i'm going to apply the deep glow over here deep glow see the difference it will give a nice uh, glow for your objects and you can increase the exposure also yeah. and there are many options uh, many options that you can adjust anyway uh, your basic audio visualizer is ready now if you want a more uh, detailed visualizer maybe you can just duplicate this select your visualizer then control d then double click here now you can delete these two then back to normal then just change the visualizing analog dot into digital then change the hue dynamic back to your main composition drag and drop audio visualizer 2 just select visualizer 1 select the cc cylinder because we already adjust we already adjust this perspective then select cc cylinder control c then back to visualizer 2 then control v basically you have to paste the cc cylinder value cc cylinder effects into your new visualizer but here you can adjust the radius if you want then make it center I think you have to adjust this maximum values for the visualizer too and the maximum height reduce and yeah, go to main so this will be the final output now you can enhance your colors like uh, just create a ellipse now if you go to the fill color then you can adjust everything here from here so basically we have to apply one yellow color 
then select this and increase the opacity select the end value make the opacity zero now you'll get a nice uh, overlay effects then just place it here then change your blending mode soft light is better it's look good actually you can change this color from yellow into something blue tint now you can put uh, your music name over here so this will be the basic uh, audio visualizer effects so on images you just have to place your audio visualizer with the cc cylinder that's very simple but uh, the next step how to track this audio visualizer with a video that's also very easy easy so stay tuned for that video.